Hi, I'm Jeff Swiston, Chief Communications Officer of DDB Group, and we're starting a series of speaking to executives at DDB, and we're kicking off with Chuck Brimer, Chief Executive Officer of the DDB Group. Welcome, Chuck. Hi, Jeff. How are Hi, you doing? Hi, everybody. I'm Chuck. How are things today? They're busy. Okay, well, we'll, get this, we'll get this moving. We'll try to then. get it going. All right. <laughs> Well, one thing that we do have coming up that's keeping a lot of us busy is the festival at Cannes, uh, and we'll all be heading back as a group and very excited about it. Um, what does the festival mean to DDB Group? It's a really a benchmark for us, and I think we've been using it as a tool to ensure that our creativity matches with the best in the world. Um, I think the other side of it, it's also a great gathering of talent, and I think you know Cannes represents some of the best talent in the world, and the opportunity to have that talent together um, is a way to meet people, it's a way to engage in conversation and hopefully inspire the teams within our organization to do even better work in the future. I've seen the um, evolution of the festival. It's certainly trying to stay relevant with the times. Have you noticed that too? And, and if you have, what, what have you noticed? I think the biggest changes that I've seen in the last, certainly in the last five years, is the amount of attention that, that marketers are placing on can, uh, clients. Um, we're seeing a big, a much more uh, attended conference than we have in the past when you go to the festival. Um, I think five years ago, you'd probably see some clients there. Today, it's almost becoming mandatory for mm -hmm. many of the senior executives of the clients to be there. And you're not just seeing marketing people. In many cases, you're seeing CEOs. Uh -huh. um, because I think it's a chance for all of the marketers to really understand better um, the, the work that's being created in the space, to compare their work against some of the better uh, work that people have done and also to understand more of the changes that are going on in the industry um, through some, some, whether it be some digital work that's happening or some, if you will, sort of non-traditional advertising work that's being presented. Excellent. Um, you know, the festival has always been about a celebration of ideas and a celebration of creativity. Uh, over those five years, six years that you've been going, have you noticed any sort of trends in the ideas that are, um, are celebrated more than others? Uh, I, yeah, I think you've seen a huge shift towards um, work that is has much more of an engagement with consumers. It may be online work, it may be event-driven work, but I think um, you know the things that are that are standing out more and more are the more integrated campaigns, right. where people are much more engaged and participating with the work than they have in the past. I think one of the key elements of of good work today is is moving beyond obviously sort of the one-way communication and getting consumers to engage, right. um, to play with, to participate with, to pass it on. Uh, it used to be that I'd send a message to you and that's pretty much where it would end. Maybe you'd walk out to the water cooler and you'd talk to a few people. I think today, more and more, you're the beginning of the message. Right. So you're seeing work that is intended not only to inspire you and to move you and to tell a story and to be wonderfully creative, you're seeing work that hopefully is going to be work that you'll want to share with your friends. Right. And when you think about social networks and what that represents to the communities that you're involved with, that message can become the voice of one to 101 to 1,001 million and one uh, virtually overnight. So I think you're seeing a lot more work that's able to do that than we've seen, obviously, in the past. I was probably a bad example because when I go to the water cooler, everyone else goes back to work. <laughs> yeah, well, they should. Yeah, because <laughs> you, would, you would definitely scare them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you're going to have an incredibly busy uh, uh, time at Can. You always do. You're, you're meeting with our folks. You're meeting with other talent. You're meeting with clients. Uh, but there's a great deal of content at Can. There's seminars and things like that. Is there anything specifically you're looking forward to attending this year? Well, I don't get to attend as much as I used to because I think it's, it's really a pretty full schedule and just right. what you said, meeting with clients, meeting with some talent, uh, sharing some time with our people. One of the things I'm really looking forward to this year is meeting with some of the young talent. Um, we are hosting a lunch for some of the young lions, some of the some of those that uh, people are, are real talents that are on their way up, right. and that I think it's really inspiring. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I do occasionally make a, a, a seminar or two because I think it's important to to get to a few of those. Um, it helps me to educate me on some of the changes that are going on. So I'll right. try to make some of those as well. Circling back to uh, the young talent, um, and this is a little bit broader than focusing on can, but when you meet young. Uh, talent today, what are you telling them? What words of advice are you giving them for their entrance to our industry? To challenge the norm is something that's really, really mm -hmm. valuable. So that would be one of the things I would say. I'd say also to have passion, to, to care about what you're doing. Um, what you're doing in many cases, and, and many before us have always talked about, you're creating societal differences and change in the world. And, 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 and not to be overly dramatic about it, but the opportunity to create work which will stand the test of time 
um, is something that is a, is is rather powerful, I think. Well, it's um, a that's a heck of a challenge for someone youthful coming in uh, to come up with an idea that would right. last not only well five years is a challenge these days. So right, yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. Um, when we were at Cannes, they have their own criteria for the awards and what wins. Um, from your own standpoint, what do you communicate to our organization to say what is successful work? What do you want to see in our work? Well, I think, first of all, the work has to, has to inspire somebody. It has to compel them and motivate them uh, to want to do something, to change their behavior in many cases. Mm -hmm. um, which that means is that the, the, the idea needs to come through in a very powerful way. It could be funny. It could be, it could be uh, emotional. It could be you know, all kinds of different things to the table, but that the work itself needs to break through. It needs to, to communicate to somebody and it give them a reason to do something. It also, hopefully, as we talked about a minute ago, it needs to engage them right. in a different way. So um, we, we always have, have looked to CAN as, as an opportunity to really showcase uh, our work and see it alongside some of the other work in the, in the world, which is obviously very good also. So it's a good barometer for us um, and a good chance for us to, to demonstrate our creativity. I mean, fortunately, over the last you know, 10 or 15 years, DDB has been incredibly successful at Cannes. Um, and I think that speaks volumes about how important it is to us. And it's not only because um, you know, we want to be recognized creatively, which we do, but also I think it sends a message to the market about how we view creativity mm -hmm. and how important it is to DDB. And that tends to bring even better talent Right. to our organization, which is something that we're continually looking to do. So it's a helpful, very useful way to benchmark, but also a way, I think, to, to uh, induce or seduce uh, <laughs> others to, to come to DDB, which I think uh, is very important. You've been going to Cannes now for a number of years, and somehow you're you still look kind of relatively youthful. Um, <laughs> so you must you're you must, trying too hard. Yeah, you <laughs> must have, but you must have a few secrets here. Um, any words of advice for those attending the event for the first time? A uh, couple, yeah. First, pace yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, it, the days tend to drag on right. <laughs> into the night, and the night <laughs> tends to drag on to the day. So uh, <laughs> sleep deprivation is not uncommon at Cannes. Um, I would also say make sure you go see the work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can get caught up in a lot of different, you know, whether it's, whether it's a cocktail party or lunches or meeting people or, or just trying to survive it all through seminars. But more importantly, I think, is to go try to see the work because it's really, this should be a festival about the work that's leading our industry. And there's a lot to learn from that. So I would strongly suggest someone to go make sure that they uh, take a look at what's being created and, and, and get a chance to see that. Um, other than that, I'd say, you know, have a good time. Right, right. You know, uh, best you can. Hey, Chuck, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks, Jeff. And we want you to come back, too. We're going to be interviewing a ton of executives from DDB and our hot creatives as we go to Cannes. So stick with us. There's plenty more material to come. Thanks very much. Thanks, everybody.